In this video, we're going to take a look at master pages and how to edit the default.master to add a few things to it. So the first step that we're going to take is actually to go open our site in SharePoint Designer. And then once we have it open, we're going to go to the folder list and the underscore catalogs directory, we're going to expand that. Then we're going to expand the master page gallery here. And we want to double click on default.master to open it for editing. Now that it's loaded, we can go ahead and scroll over to the right. And we can look at how to add a global link. As you can see, there are a number of global links up here already. What we'll do is we'll just place our cursor into the tab in between the Welcome System account and the My Site links. And we can start by just typing in a new link. Now, once we have our text in place, we can go ahead, highlight the text, right-click on it, go down to hyperlink. See, it shows what text it's going to display. And then we just have to provide an address for it. In this case, we'll just redirect it to the help desk site on the local server. And then we will click OK to set that in place. Now that we've added our global link at the top, we'll want to add a set of terms and conditions. In order to do that, we're going to go on to the main content page here. We'd like the copyright notice to appear underneath the main content inside of SharePoint. So we're going to select the placeholder main. We're going to hit our right arrow key. That's going to put us at the end there. Hit enter so that we get our cursor set up below the placeholder main. We're going to go to the table menu, click on insert table. We actually only need one row. And in this case, we'll only use one column as well. And we'll go ahead and click OK. In here, going to type our copyright message. So we'll go to insert symbol go into the Latin One supplement, click on the copyright sign, click Insert, click Close. See, we've got our copyright symbol. We'll just put uh, 2008, all rights reserved. Very simple. Then we can go ahead and highlight the text. We can set it to and serif, and actually give it an 8-point font size. We'll also want that centered, so we'll go to the Tag Properties panel over here, and click on the drop-down for Align, click on Center. As you can see, it's now centered on the page. The final thing that we'll want to work with is going to be the site logo. Now, normally, the site logo can be controlled through the SharePoint browser UI. In order to remove that as a possibility, what you need to do is highlight the site logo, as I've done here. Go ahead and we'll hit Delete. Now, we're going to go ahead and hit Insert, HTML, Image. We'll right-click on that, go to Picture Properties. And then we're going to use an image that is already uploaded onto our website, which is our company logo. And then we can go into Appearance, make sure there won't be any border. Click on OK. Now, as you can see, our logo is in place. And now it will no longer allow a user to change the logo from inside of SharePoint. So this is a way to make sure that you have a consistent look and feel across all the sites on your SharePoint deployment. Now we can go ahead and save our changes and we'll go take a look at what this looks like in our browser. As you can see our logo is showing up, our help desk link, and as we scroll down to the bottom you'll see that there is a copyright notice.